Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Backbrace channel for programming. My name is Amir and in this video I'm going to introduce you to 10 of the best VS Code themes that you can use to customize your code editor and make it more visually appealing. So as developers we spend a lot of time staring at our code editor and it's important to make sure that it's not only functional but also pleasant to look at. Fortunately, we have hundreds and hundreds of VS Code themes out there that you can choose from, each with its own unique style and personality. And in this video, I just wanted to discover with you top 10 VS Code themes that I've read about. And I didn't want to do that by myself, I wanted to share the experience with you. And it doesn't matter really if you're a front-end developer, a back-end developer, um, you will have your own VS Code theme that will suit your taste. So let me just uh, show you what I have here. So my current VS Code theme is Vim Deep Dark. By the way, I've opened various very old codes that um, I didn't use, I, did, I wanted to refactor, but whatever. Um, different files, HTML, JavaScript, CSS. I have a Python file here. So different files to show how colors work with the background. So personally, I love all the Vim themes. Vim Dark Hard, that's good. Uh, let's open JavaScript file, for example. And by the way, that's a cheat sheet for the Visual Studio Code keyboard shortcuts for Windows. You can also download it in VS Code. So the shortcut to open the theme palette is Control KT. And uh, currently I have the Vim Deep Dark theme. I personally like all of the Vim themes because they, the, the contrast between the background and the colors of the code, different keywords, um, is really great, works very, um, very good for my eyes. Because remember that well-selected theme should offer some benefits like improved focus while you're coding, and that depends also on the time spent on your laptop coding, also enhanced code readability, reduced eye strain during extended coding sessions and a visually appealing interface which is one of the most important points that you must consider while choosing your theme. Uh, let me just start from the top the themes that I have the ones that I like and I don't like. This one is called Jelly. Uh, so let me open various um, how to do that. Let's do like this and let's do like that. Uh, maybe I can close the Explorer. All right, so let's do that again. So I will start from the top, uh, the ones that I have. And I must say that I don't like the light themes. It's not because of that cliche of coder or hacker or whatever. All of these, you know, stereotypes or cliches or call it whatever you want. But uh, personally, they hurt my eye. I tend to look to a darker screen more than a light screen. Sometimes I do on light screen, but those are very rare moments. Uh, clear down inks, light visual studio. This one is not bad. This one also is not bad. It's not very bright to my eyes. Vim light hard, light medium and light soft. The light soft, the Vim light soft is actually good. I can see myself coding on that. All right, so these are the light themes that I have. So let's go to the darker ones. So Abyss is good. Cleared on dark, also not bad. It's soft. Uh, it doesn't hurt the eye with, with too much colors. Clear on denim. Uh, I don't prefer that one, but you might like it. This is my favorite one, by the way. And I have ASMR video where I'm coding Missile Command uh, video game. And I'm doing the code using the Clear Dawn Phosphor theme. That's my favorite theme, by the way. Maybe one of the reasons is that I started coding when I was a kid on Apple II, on Atari 800 XL. These computers have the terminal with these simple colors. Basically black background and green letters. Or for Atari it was blue background and white letters. That's why I like them. They are simple and just clear for me. So tell me what do you think about this one? Clear Dawn Retro Orange. Clear Dawn Turbo, this reminds me of the Atari 800 XL. This is a very typical retro terminal for me. Uh, this one and this one. Which are my favorites, okay? 
So if you're wondering, yeah, I am a retro guy. I love all of them. Um, everything that is related to retro computing. That's the default Dark Visual Studio theme, uh, which is, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's the default one. Jelly is not bad, actually. This is, for me, doesn't work at all. Can be dark is, uh, for me, is a mistake. The one who made that theme was, I don't know. Uh, he didn't have much coffee, maybe. <laughs> Monokai, not bad. Uh, I prefer the Monokai dimmed over the Monokai. The Monokai theme reminds me of Sublime Text, by the way. Red is an absolute mistake. The one who made that theme was absolutely drunk. I'm quite sure of that. And I have no idea who can use this theme. It doesn't work at all for me. Solarized Dark, not bad. Uh, doesn't work for me because of the contrast. It's personal preference, right? It's purely subjective. The contrast between the background and the, the letters colors doesn't work for me. Theme is okay, theme italic, theme flat. Tomorrow Night Blue, Vim Dark Card, all of the Vim I showed you, uh, the Deep Dark is my favorite, and that's it. Uh, we have then high contrast themes, the dark one and the light one. So let's go ahead and discover the top 10 Visual Studio Code themes for 2023. By the way, these themes are among the most popular choices and also have received great ratings with hundreds of thousands of satisfied users. So that's why I'm very excited to share that experience with you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and explore that. All right, so to open the extension tab, you can click here or do Control Shift X. I love shortcuts, so um, Control Shift X opens directly the, um, the extensions tab. And our number one theme is Adam One Dark Theme. So this is a VS Code theme based on Adam's One Dark Theme, best traded One Dark Theme port in Marketplace. And take a look to the number of the installations, 4 million installations for this one. So let's go ahead and install that. Set color theme. Let's check it out. Let's read here below if something useful. If you find in any inconsistency in any language, there is an issue, okay. Customization, if you're using uh, VS Code 1 plus 12. Okay, that's fine. And I'm pretty sure you're aware of the Atom Text Editor. So that's, that's why uh, below here, he got the credits to Adam. Adam is a very popular or was a very popular. I don't know if anyone is working with Adam now. So all in all, it works very nice. The contrast between the background and uh, the different colors are not bright or just hurting the eye. They are soft and uh, can keep me focused on the code. I can see that. I can try other files. Yes, S. Yeah, that's that's okay. All right, so that's Adam One Dark with four million installations. Number two, we have Night Owl. All right, so Night Owl has almost two million installations, and it has a rating of four point nine out of five. That's outstanding. Let's install that one. We have different ones. You can see night all with no italics, light, and those are the light ones. We don't need that. Let's go with the night all. And immediately I like it. It's very, very nice. So the color scheme here is featuring light purple, yellowish, orange, light green, indigo, teal, and different other colors that work perfectly together. Uh, personally, I like it and I give it five out of five. All right, theme number three, we have Jellyfish. Jellyfish theme actually takes 4.6 out of five points, which is quite high. 
and uh, it has 161,000, almost 162,000 installations created by Pavel Borkar, I think he's Polish. I like the contrast also between the background and the colors. This is a CSS file. Let's check out HTML, JavaScript. It's very cool. I like it personally. I can see myself coding using the jellyfish theme. Let's check out other information about that one. Uh, you can support here by buying a coffee. It has a license and it's an open source, so you can contribute to that if you want on GitHub. Let me know in the comment section below what do you think about the jellyfish theme. And for number four, we have Firefly Pro. So about the Firefly Pro, it's written that it's a radiant theme inspired by the luminescence of fireflies and has amassed more than 94,000 installations, already 95 not, or 96,000 installations and offering three dark variations. So we will have three dark variations. Let's install that. Oh, that's so cool. I like this um, this uh, yellowish lemony color very much. So offering three dark variations, the Firefly Pro, the Midnight and the Bright. And the Bright, we don't need it. So this theme employs light violet, sky blue, green and orange to craft an illuminating coding experience. Okay, so that's a great one. Uh, let's actually try the other one. Firefly Pro, Firefly Pro Bright. I don't know, I like this better, Firefly Pro. And in CSS, it's really nice. I like this blue color very much with the background. Also, it's working perfectly. The, the combination of colors working perfectly together. Yeah, that's one of my favorites till now. This one and Jellyfish. Number five, we have Midnight Synth. Okay, it has 28 or 29,000 installations. That's okay. Let's go ahead and install that. And I don't like it. This um, purple color doesn't work for me at all. Maybe it works okay for you. It looks like jellyfish, but there is something in jellyfish that keeps it, you know, glowing. This is, I don't know, uh, too much purpley for me. Number six, we have Cobalt 2. Oh, been installed 1,179,000 by Westboss. Oh, I know Westboss. So let's go ahead and install his theme. That's okay. Not too bad. So open extension sidebar panel, view, search. Okay, click install to install it. Go preference color Cobalt 2 and use the recommended settings below for best experience. So you can customize that also for better experience. I like it. It's organized. I like that uh, these lines are very clear the contrast between uh, the background and the colors uh, not very flashy so again let me know in the comments below what do you think about the cobble 2 theme and are you willing to use it or not number seven we have dracula official so let me tell you about dracula it's not only used in vs code but also in things like NeoVim, in vim in emacs and is used as a plugin for other applications as well so um, it's very widely used. You can see why it's um, the contrast in colors. Very, very nice. You know, clear and the distinction in different code lines is very uh, clear. Also, they have soft. This is the soft one. And that's the normal one. No big difference. Actually, I don't see any difference. Let's close that. Let's check on JavaScript. Yeah, that's good. Looks good looks good yeah so all in all it looks good not hurting the eye and can keep you focused on your code let me also know what you think about the Dracula official theme in the comments below for number eight we have material pale night all right so we have installation of 1,200,000 an elegant material inspired theme for Visual Studio code that one although it's purple I like it I don't know why. There's something about it. So let's check down here below. Maybe there's something that we missed. Uh, this theme uses minimal contrast across the most of its variants. However, if you feel like the workbench could use a bit more, there's an experimental uh, mild contrast variant. All right, so uh, 
yeah, that's that's a very, very nice one. Also, let me know in the comments below what you think about Material Pale Knight. And for number 9, we have Solarized Dark. So, this is Solarized and this is Solarized Dark. And I don't know if there is a difference. So, the, uh, the authors are different. Ryan Olsen and Solarized Dark is uh, Garen. That's uh, 20,000 and that's 92,000. But the recommendation has given us the Solarized Dark theme. So let's install it. Oh, that's that's cool. That's very nice, by the way. I like this more than the one of West Boss. What was it called? Um, Cobalt. Cobalt 2. This one is better than the Cobalt 2. Something very attractive about it. I don't know what it is. It keeps my, my eyes focused on the code uh, somehow. Let's check out other file, uh, HTML for example. Yeah, it's not bad. And what about CSS? Also not bad. Yeah, so Solarized Dark for me works better than Cobalt 2. That's the Solarized Dark. That's also Solarized Dark by the way. We have two variations. And now I, I like this one better. Um, I don't know, I think the difference only in the upper and lower tabs. But if you will check Cobalt, Cobalt 2. Hmm. Cobalt 2 is a bit, you know, too much. A lot of things going on, too much colors. Uh, Solarized Dark, however, keeps me focused. You know, that's the light version. Thank you, we don't need that. Or maybe you like light version, um, I don't know. So that's the light version, that's the dark, and that's also dark. Okay, so also let me know in the comments below what do you think about this one, the Solarite Dark theme. So let's go to our last theme, Noctis theme. Noctis is a collection of light and dark themes, okay, um, with a well-balanced blend of warm and cold medium contrast colors. The theme is designed to be easy on the eyes, this reducing the eye strain, that's very important, and also give semantic meaning to the theme's colors. Okay, let's try that. Let's see what, um, what it's like. Oh, wow, that's very nice. Um, might be too much, too much colors, but I don't know. I like this one very much. I know that they have other variations. So there is Noctis, Noctis Azurus from Major, like bluish. This crimson color, Bordeaux. Minimus, Minimus, Obscuro. Oh, I think I have a winner. Yes! Sereno, Uva, Viola. This one, guys, is my favorite. The Noctis Obscuro is my favorite theme in this 10 themes that we have checked out together. I don't have to analyze too much. It's just love from first sight. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely I'm using that one. So let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this Noctis theme and what about this specific one, the Noctis Obscuro, because they have a lot. Uh, they have only Noctis, which is not bad at all. Uh, Azurus, it's blue, Bordeaux Crimson, Minimus, which is minimal, I guess. Obscuro from Obscure, which is dark. Sereno from Serenity, I think, which which should give you peace of mind or which I don't know. I'm being a philosopher now. Forget it. Uva, Viola, yeah, so they have a lot. For me, this one is the winner, Noctis Obscuro. All right, guys, so that wraps it up. These are the 10 best themes for 2023. Please let me know your favorite, and if you have any other favorite Visual Studio Code theme, please drop it in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and be well. See you later, guys.